أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم لن تنالوا البر حتى تنفقوا مما تحبون وما تنفقوا من شيء فإن الله به عليم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله قرآن ويكلي Today I want to share with you ayah number 92 of Surah Ali Imran This is the beginning of the fourth uh, juz And in this juz Allah Azza wa Jal says You will not reach لن تنالوا البر You're not going to reach goodness Until you spend حتى تنفقوا مما تحبوا Until you spend from what you love very famous ayah, people quote it all the time. The nuance I wanted to share from this ayah is, Nala is used actually when you're traveling and you can't wait to reach your destination. That's what nail is, like something becoming accessible finally. And the Arabs were familiar with this idea because they traveled in the desert and they're, you're desperate to reach your destination. And not being able to reach your destination can be lethal because there's nothing for you to survive on in the desert. The same is true of a sea voyage, right? When you're traveling in the sea in the sea, and you're lost or you can't find the land that you're supposed to reach, obviously the supplies you have to get by, water especially, you know, drinkable water, is very limited. So you have to reach in a particular time for, in order for you to survive. So Allah says, you know, He uses the word that is used for surviving a journey and getting somewhere safely in time. But what He adds is really awesome. He says the word albir. Al-bir as opposed to al-khayr or other words used for goodness. Al-bir in Arabic is closest to the word al-bar. And bar actually means land. So when you hear nal, then you immediately think bar. You're not going to reach land. Right? But Allah says you're not going to reach goodness. And the idea of words that are similar in phonetics, to use them in this way, this kind of wordplay, suggests that Allah wants us to think of the imagery. Right? The, the idea of, it, think of yourself as on, out on sea unstable waters, storms, and you don't know when you're going to reach. And you finally reach the island where you're safe. And what is that safe island called? Al-Bir. Al-Bar and Al-Bir are similar. Reaching land is like reaching goodness. Oh, it's good. Stability. Being in sin and being in a, you know, a, a time in your life which is not good is like being out at sea. You're living in a turbulent lifestyle. So you will not reach that safe land حَتَّى تُنْفِقُوا مِمَّا تُحِبُّونَ Can you imagine a boat that's leaking, or it's too heavy, or it's taken on too much of a load. What do you have to do for the ship to survive? You have to drop the excess, don't you? In order for you to survive. Allah says you will not reach land, in this case goodness, until you spend from what you love. You might have to drop things off this, this ship that you love. And Allah says you'll have to spend things that you love. And it doesn't just mean giving sadaqah to the masjid. It means you might have to spend on relatives you don't like. You might have to give up, you know, uh, some of the luxuries that you have in life and think of your neighbors and think of other people that are in suffering around you. And you might have to give more and more and more of the things that you love. Not the leftovers, not the second-hand clothes, not the stuff that illa an tughmidu fihi. You, if somebody handed it to you, you would squint your eyes before you took it. Like, not that stuff, but the stuff you really want for yourself. Eid is going to come soon, you're going to go shopping. When you go shopping and you buy that shirt and those clothes or that jewelry or whatever you get for yourself or for a cousin, get the same kind of thing that you would have loved for yourself to give in sadaqah. That to give in sadaqah. That is real bir. That's when you know you've attained some kind of goodness. What a beautiful ayah and what beautiful imagery to explain to us that we in this journey, we think that we everything we need is on this ship, but Allah is telling us for you to survive this journey, you better let go of some of these things that you really, really love. If you're going to get all the way to goodness, may Allah Azza wa Jal help all of us reach goodness and make us of the people that are called al abrar. Wa ma tunfiqu min shay'in fa inna Allah bihi alim. Anything you spend, Allah knows really well about it. You don't have to announce it. Allah knows what you spend. So keep it as a secret between you and Allah, and don't post on Facebook. You know, after listening to this lecture, I donated my favorite shirt or whatever. <laughs> Don't do that. Keep it between you and Allah because Allah says, whatever you spend, Allah knows about it. فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ بِهِ عَلِيمٌ May Allah make us of those who reach that goodness and reach that safety. بَارَكَ اللَّهُ لِي وَلَكُمْ وَالسَّلَامُ عَلَيْكُمْ Quran Weekly.